Today we're going to show you how to change the front brakes on your 2014-2017 Acura MDX. Probably the same as the same year Pilot, Honda Pilot too. So first things first is jack the car up and support it with jack stands underneath the frame braces. And I put a safety one dead center in the middle with my Daytona jack. But the front is fairly straightforward. What you will need is a screwdriver, flathead, Phillips, 19 millimeter, 17 millimeter breaker bar, and a half inch um, ratchet. So first things first, we want to get off the caliper and get the old pads out. So the bolts for here sit right behind there, and they are 17 millimeters. And the ones for the caliper bracket right there are 19 millimeters. So 17. 19. Let's get this thing off. And the reason why we're changing these um, is because this rotor is warped and it shakes pretty significantly when we step on the brakes. First things first, get the caliper brackets off. Way your screwdriver in here to pop the caliper off, and it leaves the pads on the caliper bracket. There's a clip. Let's put it here. For safe people. We do the rest of the brake job. So now you just pull off the pads. Now, next thing is to get the caliper bracket off. So, once again, these are 19s. I'll show you. They're right there. There's 19 and 19. I'm going to use a breaker bar for this because these ones are pretty tight. Caliper brackets off. Next part is there's a little screw set screw right here in the rotor that you gotta take off, so we'll get that off. Oh. Should come right off. Well off. Uh, now we're gonna get some brake cleaner and clean up all this right here. And then we're going to clean up all the brackets, so I'll have a brake cleaner. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing on the driver's side, and then I'm going to show you how to put them back on. Okay, so now we got our new rotor, new pad cal uh, kit, new pads. The first thing I like to do before we get started, get some disc brake quiet, we spray back of the pads it helps with squeaking and chatter so we can do that this stuff's fairly cheap so there's that now while that's drying we're going to get all this stuff cleaned up all this old brake dust out of here so let's use some standard brake parts cleaner and just spray it on there Spray this thing to see how nasty that stuff is coming out. A lot of dust. Let's spray this thing to get it clean. Let's 
and then we'll get the caliper. It'll be kind of hard to show. We get the underneath, underneath of it. Some of the nasty buildup in there off. While well, all this stuff is drying, it's a rebuilding some of the stuff. Okay, so we'll turn that over, put it all empty out. Some of the top right there. Okay, so one thing we like to do, you take the caliper pins out and re-grease them. Just give me a second, I'll show you how we do that. It's usually pop right out. And you guys already got some grease on there. Do a little bit more. Get that. Let's coat them in wheel, high temperature wheel bearing grease. Pop them back in. That's done. So now what we're going to do, you have to make sure every disc brake rotor comes with a anti-rust coating on it. So I usually just throw some brake cleaner on it. Just to get it off. Just wipe it off here. I'm gonna make sure you get the back too. Put this over. wipe it off so there you have it okay now we're gonna get to work and I'm putting it back together so you make sure when you put the rotor on when the rotor on there's a slot of, remember that screw we took off so you gotta make sure you line that up put the new rotor on so, put the new screw in. Like so. You want to make sure it's not touching the dust shield behind it, so you don't spin it. Okay. Now the next portion is we get the kit that holds the, the brake pads into the caliper bracket. There you go. So here's the kit. All you do is these things snap right in. They're very easy. Make sure you get the little ears. There you go, there's one snapped in. Yeah. There you go, so that's it, okay. So now what we'll do is we'll put it back up and we'll install it. You just want to start these in finger tight. And then I 
I tighten them down with a breaker bar, it's 19 millimeters. Make sure these are really snug. Now the next thing you want to do is we got to push the piston for the caliper back in. So I got this tool from Advanced Auto Parts where basically just seats against here and then we push the thing back in. So what I'll do is let me pull it to the side so I can show you why I do it. There you have it. So you want to push it in like that. I always push one side in with these dual piston setups and push the other side. Then you got to come back to the other side, basically alternate sides as you push them in. You want to make sure that the rubber boot does not get pinched. So there's one piston in. So loosen it up. the other side. You can see the other one came up just a hair. Make sure we don't piss pinch the boot. Press this one back in. Okay, so now that's in. So now we'll get our brakes on here. Now here comes the fun part. So put our pads on. One with the wear indicator goes to the back. So this is a normal one for the front. We're facing the outside. You snap them in these brackets, like so. And I said, here's the fun part. There are these little clips that hold pressure on the outside of the pads, like so. You gotta put them in. So we gotta hold them in while we put the new caliper, or the new, the caliper over top of the new pads. So put one in the slot. They're spring-loaded, so then you see one. Here's the bottom one. And then there's the top one, too. So now we do bring our caliper down. There we go. But you want to make sure there's a flange on these caliper studs. You want to line them up. They're flattened on one side. make sure they seat. That's the flange I'm talking about right there. So you want to have this seated against there. So I put our bolts in.
I said once again these are 17 millimeters I guess so you gotta make sure these slots are in the caliper Sounds good. Make sure it's, the dust cover is not touching anywhere. It looks like it's touching right here. Let's go bend it back. Right there, it's touching. No, it's no longer touching. So we should spin it. Everything looks clear. So we're good. So there you have it. There's replacing front brakes on your 2014, 2017 Acura MDX. Thank you. Have a good day.